Welcome back to the 21st of Remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio and today we're gonna introduce our first dummy enemy and the only function which it has is basically once it's hitting, well it's getting hit by a bullet then it will drop the weapon which it is holding. So this is pretty much it for this video tutorial. So this is one up indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider subscribing, sharing and liking. So let's go into our project. So let's go into our object, the hotline clone. And here we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up. So sprites. I don't know the wall let's go into gameplay the mask also so we get rid of this and, and then just a little bit of housekeeping because we don't actually need those things anymore so the muzzle uh, let's put that into control because everybody's actually using it and of course the wall everybody's using it also alrighty so let's first create our dude which is the object enemy here we go and give him a neat little sprite and do this creepy thing where it is homing on the player let's go player enemy and this is this one and how can we do this well kind of easy because the player already does a very similar thing in the step event so here we have direction and the fake image angle so we can kind of reuse this as a homing in so we we'll go into our step event and do this and of course first we do this with the image angle and now of course this won't be working because the second parameter is mouse x and y it's not actually relevant for the <laughs> the enemy so therefore we need something else so let's go for object player not the palm tree the player x and the player y and boom we have an auto homing creepy enemy already set up so let's put them into the room and of course one here and I don't know one here boom let's start it all right so basically we have already have some bad guys in there and of course they are walking mm. <laughs> we don't actually need this one because they're not walking for now so let's get rid of that so let's go into our create event and say like hmm please don't walk so image speed for now is zero so it's no working at all and now the next thing which we like to do is well we want to have a collision with our shot with the enemy so basically we just say hey head event and then collision and then of course with our enemy boom and what do we want to do well first of all if an object is flying towards an enemy then the shot needs to get well destroyed anyway and of course we want to destroy the enemy now instantly later on we will switch to that and make this a little bit more elaborate but for now we just uh, do a hit and boom it's gone so we say instance destroy so first of all we destroy our shot so the one which is flying there on impact with the object enemy and then of course we want to destroy another instance which is the other guy other ID. Of course, you can just say other, which is basically the same. So you can write it like this or other ID. But I guess ID makes a little bit sense because we are grabbing from the other thing. So this instance of the object enemy, then boom, we are destroying it. So let's check it out. All right, so let's grab a weapon and shoot one of those. Boom. And it's gone. Of course, the shot is gone. Also, and sweet. This is of course not good enough for us we want to do a few more things so first of all we want to drop something upon destruction so basically when we are destroying it then the destroy event is the last event of all and here we want to create a pickup weapon because we already did this kind of so we just go into our object throw because the code is basically the same so if you remembered Let's say it was stopping of well the movement speed was stopping and then we did this we created a pickup weapon save the ammo left and then said like hey what kind of sprite are you holding in the throw weapon and then boom pass that in we can kind of take this one over in our enemy where else where are you where are you here we go upon destruction but 
we need to do a few other things because well we cannot <laughs> pass in the sprite index of the enemy because that wouldn't make any sense and the ammo left is it's freshly so here one thing which i did so let's go into opera yay <laughs> you must of us all um, i just took from the wiki all the specific weapon ammunition types for example if you're thinking like how fast is it uh, shooting and so on then you can actually get some stats and for example here this one has a ma magazine size of 24 so this is for us the aka and then of all the other ones i adapted it also where did i do it well in one of our control objects which we already set it up so basically here all the stuff was set up so the friction this short speed blah 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 and of course the ammunition so here we are taking that off and then passing it in to our object enemy upon destruction so here we are just saving that stuff and then we are just saying like hey what kind of weapon is the player or the enemy holding so we just say switch there you go and then we say mm, so how can we distinguish it well we can actually do the same as the player so we just go into our player and how did the player do did it well he just said hey what kind of sprite weapon sprite are you holding and then it was saying like hey what kind of weapon the ammunition we don't actually need to pass uh, well take in because we just need those two so we just take those two variables put them into our create event so here this is the weapon sprite if it is actually um, well if the enemy is actually holding one and then this one is giving us an idea hey what kind of weapon are we actually holding if we are holding so this is kind of important also we just say like hey case let's say aka because it is what do we do well we want to change two things first of all the ammunition left so the ammunition which we want to pass in into the pickup and of course what kind of sprite index we want to pass in so we just create two variables i don't know and we can call them how can we call them let's call it right to pass in and here nothing and of course the ammunition to pass in nope ammunition here we go and then we just say like hey what kind of sprite do we want to pass in this one what kind of ammunition we want to pass in also a very important to understand for example now they are doing nothing so if i run the code and for example this wouldn't apply we would be creating something then uh, we don't have any default things which is not the best idea so we just say like mm, let's create a default weapon so let's go weapons and kind of sprite let's go default is always a knife let's go for the pistol it doesn't really matter in my opinion so boom we put this in and of course now we need to change it depending what kind of weapon we are holding so let's say we have the aka so we just say hey what kind of sprite are we actually using so we just check our sprites then and put it according to as aka and just pass that in so it is correct and of course we can do this for the ammunition and what kind of ammunition well the one which is here so the one which we saved in our object uh, control here we go boom and just put this in and then we can break and of course as you can see now we are filling up up those two parameters and this is what we can do for all the other guys so let's do a quick little, little cheating from my side and as you can see nothing has changed so basically we're holding the knife the pistol the smg uzi uh, uh, aka in hotline miami it's an m16 as far as i know and well we are passing in the ammunition from our control because this is then the thing which is always static so this doesn't change once it is set up and of course here we're changing that thing and this already works pretty fine of course we need to have one little thing which is very important so one little thing we need to uh, uh, acknowledge so for example these guys are not holding any weapons and for example i'm throwing so all of them are dropping 
well, guns. So as you can see, this is a suboptimal version because sometimes there are NPCs, so enemies which have no weapons at all. So how can we remedy that? Well, we are saying like, hey, if the sprite which we are holding is SPR nothing, we just say like, mm, if that is the case, then we won't be doing anything. So we just say like, hey, if we are holding anything but nothing in our hands, let's create a weapon pickup. So here, just a little fall, fail save. And then for example, once we run it again, now so here we're shooting you. And as you can see, nothing there. So sweet. So this is how we can set it up. And of course, um, there are two ways how we can pass in the correct weapons. So for example, we could just say like, hey, and say like, hey, you are actually holding a weapon. So SPR. So the weapon sprite is SPR, I don't know. Let's give him the AKA. So here we go. And just say like, hey, what kind of weapon are we having? Weapon. Okay, here we go. And then of course we can do this for, I don't know, for this dude and give him something else. So let's give him, mm -hmm, let's give him a shotgun. Shotgun. Here we go. And then for example, we start it again. All right, so let's start it again. As you can see, nothing is happening. Why is that? Well, because we haven't implemented anything. But as you can see already, this stuff is popping up correctly. So he was holding the M16 or the AKA, and then this one's holding nothing. So boom, you are gone. All right, so how can we remedy this little thing? Because we actually should be taking something from our object player because he, oh, well, the player was um, having two draw events, one for example for the sprite index and one for the weapon holding and of course here for our feet. So we can just copy that stuff, at least most of that, and create a similar draw event into our enemy. As you can see, everything is pretty much the same. Here we just go X, Y, because we don't want to have some, some uh, extra effects for now. And of course, we de destroy the feed. And for example, we need then to create a different sprite index. For example, if we are holding a weapon, because let's, let's actually check it out. So we have a little mistake here because it is taking a fake image angle and this one we can actually reuse because we actually want to have this one later on for the collisions so once again we're just updating the image angle to our direction so they are still having this creepy uh, homing effect and then this should work now but of course the sprite index isn't correct now all right so as you can see they are homing in but we are having a different sprite for let's say for walking around with nothing and then once we are holding as you can see now there's a different one so this one we need to adapt also so how does that actually look like uh, player enemy and then we have normally for running and one for running with a weapon and this one of course we need to input for the guys who are actually having a weapon so right index here you go is equal to well walking with a weapon and this only applies for the guys which are actually holding a weapon so let's see all right so what we are seeing now they are having the correct sprite and then boom drawing a weapon over there and this one doesn't have any and this is what we wanted to achieve in wow way too long so that was it for today have a good one one up indie